Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract specific columns from a data frame in R. So in the video I'm going to show you four different examples and all of these examples will rely on the data that we can create with the code of lines 2 to 5 of our coding window. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our RStudio, a new data object with the name data appears. And uh, we can also have a look at this data by double clicking on this data object. And then you can see that our data contains four columns, x1, x2, x3, and x4, and four rows. So now let's assume that we want to extract only the columns x1 and x3 from our data set. Then we could do that um, by the names of these columns, as you can see here in line 7 of our code. So here in this line we would specify the names of the columns that we want to keep. Let's run this code. And as you can see here at the bottom of the RStudio console, um, the subset that is retained is exactly what we wanted so we only have the columns x1 and x3 left in our subset yeah so uh, that's in my opinion the easiest way how to subset data in r however the r programming language provides many different ways how to subset data and um, depending on your specific situation you might want to subset your data in a different way and for that reason in the following tutorial I will, sh I will show you three different alternatives for the subsetting of data. So uh, here in line 9 in the second example you can see that here we are subsetting the data based on the position of the columns in our data set. So the column x1 is the first column and the column x3 is the third column and for that reason we simply have to specify 1 and 3 um, to subset these two columns. So let's run this line of code and as you can see the output here at the bottom in the RStudio console is the same as in the first example. Yeah, another way uh, how we can subset data is with a subset function. And the subset function works as follows. First, you have to specify the name of, of your data. So in this case, our data is called data. And then you have the select argument. And within this argument, you need to specify the names of the columns you want to retain. So it's a little bit similar to example one. However, this time we are using the subset function. Yeah, so let's run this line of code. And as you can see again here at the bottom in the RStudio console, the output is the same as before. Yeah, in the fourth example that I want to show you, we are going to use the dplyr package. So the dplyr package is a very powerful package for the manipulation of data frames. And um, we can install and load the package to our RStudio, as you can see here in line 13 and 14. I have installed the package already, so I'm just running line 14 to load the package. And uh, one function of the package is the select function. And this function can be used to subset data, as you can see here. So if we run this line of code, then you can see that again the output is the same as in the previous examples. So this is another alternative how to subset data in R. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about data manipulation and about subsetting data in R, then you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the subsetting of data. And in this tutorial, I'm explaining the examples of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video so you can check it out there. And if you have liked this video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give thumbs up to the video. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel in order to get informed about future videos that I'm releasing on the channel. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.